the other reality. I'm going down. Opa. How is possible? My big fat ass on the rocks. When you jump, you really never know where you're going to land. Very, very small movements. You need the legs of steel. It's walker. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I know that it looks very dangerous. These rocks are uh, also very annoying. All these cutting edges. But I'm an idiot. Don't do that. Go down without the bag. I'm doing this almost every time I'm going fishing. Guys, today is a very, very windy day. So, I have to fish on a protected area, protected from behind. <laughs> so, uh, uh, don't have many options. The wind is really strong, actually. It's a 7 before north, so it's a bit cold. It's a 16 degrees. And uh, yeah, more or less that's the deal today. Also, I when you have a very strong wind, even if you go to protected uh, places, the wind makes turbulence. So even if it is uh, from the back, still is annoying but I didn't want to lose this day so here I am I don't plan to stay for many hours maybe four or five hours will be enough and that's the plan so let's see how it is going Today. Oh. A, a goat foot. <laughs> ah. The big bad wolf is no longer hungry of this area. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's move. At least, the terrain today is not very hard But, these rocks are uh, also very annoying Because you step and they roll And it's like their hobby is to make you fall down I don't like them, I prefer the hard rock but, anyway, this doesn't consume uh, too much energy and tiredness. No. Let's go down. Now, we have to go down this hill. Uh, ah. Yes. So, probably half hour more. And I will be there. Today is a 40 minute going down and uh, go back is probably 10 minutes more like 50 minutes let's go down let's get down to business i don't have the time to play around what is this must be a snapper in town i'm gonna catch it somehow ah i should be a rapper This is the other reality. Whoa. Anyway, let's start also to walk a bit on these annoying rocks. Uh, I already miss the rolling stones of before. But if you wanna, 
get your fish, you have to earn it. Guys, uh, this is serious. Very, very serious. I mean, uh, our lives depend on that. You cannot just uh, put your uh, feet wherever you go. And especially, especially, if you are not experienced with rocks, uh, guys, you have to spend a lot of time going slowly, slowly, and uh, check if each of the steps are uh, safe. It is uh, important that uh, also to judge about, by sight that the rock that we are going to step is heavier than our uh, own body weight uh, and uh, has a, a solid uh, step because even if a rock is heavier than us if it doesn't have a, a big surface underneath it's movable and it might, might trick us look this example for instance that big rock Look, it seems very, 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 very stable and big. Yes, we can step on that. Okay, let's see if that is safe. I will put the camera here. I will go up and try to go down. Okay. I'm going down. Hoppa. You see? For sure this rock is heavier than me, but doesn't have a safe. Uh, it's not very fixed. And uh, you should always remember that going down is always, always uh, more dangerous than going up and this happens for two reasons one reason is that we are not getting very tired so we tend to move faster and faster means less time to think when you, where you step and that's a fatal mistake secondary when you go down your whole body weight goes with force on each foot bigger force than climbing up because when you climb up you use a bit of your hands you spread the, the weight in general so going down if you step on the wrong uh, rock and the rock uh, uh, subsides then you will fall eventually you will fall you will not be able to control now look at this mess look at this mess surprisingly a thing to know is that all these cutting edges on rocks are very very safe they are uh, they they do destroy your shoes they destroy it for sure but they are very very safe all these cutting edges like here yes you can step no matter what Sometimes I say to myself that a human as a body structure is a magnificent creature because we can climb, we can walk, we can swim and we can pass many many difficult terrains and our brain usually shows us the right way to do we don't step on between vegetation and rock never we might slip and have happened many times we have to push it away with our feet and step on pure rock
we don't step to rocks like this because you see we always always try to put our feet to the most solid looking rock it's uh, another thing you should always know is that uh, it's better the, at least the one third of your uh, feet step on a rock i mean as a surface you really need uh, at least one third and uh, the best is a uh, whole or half like this see we don't step we don't step uh, randomly each step should be very very uh, well th uh, thought so I wanna go down there for sure going directly down seems super dangerous and impossible so I have the two sides that I have to choose which one is the least dangerous for sure I will have to act like an acrobat Whoa. <laughs> okay better go more inside and not in the edges because the wind is very very tricky it might uh, surprise you and if you don't wear a parachute Better spend much more time doing a circle in order to go down safe and make a longer distance rather than try to save time and go directly down and get in trouble. Always think, keep in mind that many fellow anglers are not in this world anymore. You don't want to be one of them, do you? I don't. And even by standing here on these rocks, I'm already risking. So if I'm going to do my passion, I should do it more right. And as safe as possible, because it's not safe no matter what. challenging uh, oh, oh. and now you will see why I talked about the free hand you always always need one free hand if you cannot have both that would be even safer one free hand will always support us and give uh, a grab somewhere to stabilize us and our balance now my free hand is grabbing on rocks that I can feel that they are super strong and help me move around with a grip somewhere that will help me avoid. Look, here is a cliff, I don't want to fall there, so I will grab this rock and go around. Okay. Hmm. Falling down here, for sure, is uh, not something I would like to happen. So, uh, I have to go down there. Doesn't look very, very safe, but going there, it's even more tricky. So, I have to release one hand more so I need two hands so I will put my big fat ass on the rocks and go with all the weight on the back I want you to see this guys when we go on the very cliffy areas we must ensure that our weight is always in a negative angle 
compared with the fall so in order to go down I will hmm, how to put my camera around here I can't but you will see like that I have also the back behind me and the proper thing should be to take it out but I'm an idiot don't do that go down without the bag so in order to go down here I will take off my bag to earn more negative uh, angle on the rocks look at me I'm putting my feet as more stable as I can and that's the way to do it now it seems a bit easier a bit so I will take my bag now I'm doing this almost every time I'm going fishing and I think it's I should have done this video much earlier because you really need to know the dangers mm -hmm. let's move it's a total cliff Look. Look guys. Look. Okay. Yes. Back on solid ground. And now I have to go down there. Hmm. Yes, that's the way to go. It seems that from here is the only place I could go down. I know that it looks very dangerous, but Step there, there and there. Hmm. I need uh, for sure both hands free, so I will put this down here. And I will take advantage of these small steps. Hmm. Now With two hands, I'm pushing my body like that. Yep. Very, very small movements and too much pressure on the legs. So has to go down a bit more. Okay. So now I will leave. Uh, my bag here to go to get the rod Whoa. hello rod I don't think that you want to stay here and miss the party <laughs> so here we are look behind me it's the Grand Canyon. <laughs> Regarding uh, the wet rocks, the rocks that constantly get wet, you can understand uh, them th by the brown by the brown color, you see? Okay, 
We never step on them. Never. Even if they look without uh, uh, slime on or algae, believe me, they are very, very slippery when wet. Look. No. So, to be sure, we never step on uh, wet rocks. Never. Okay guys, I did all this uh, trouble and get down here for nothing. Uh, just a stupid uh, barracuda strike that uh, didn't hooked. Uh, the tides became become, uh, very strong here, the currents, and uh, I have to move. I will try to move uh, a bit more shallow to avoid the strength of the moving water. You see? We have to check that it can hold. Because some things they look solid, but they are not. Oh. Here is another problem, guys. Look, you see these small uh, rocks together here. You cannot step on them. You see, because watch your step. You have to step on solid rock. Like here, as I told you before, that it's uh, pointy, it's very, very safe to step. Annoying for the foot, destroy, destructive for the soul, but safe to step. Hmm. For sure, I will never step on this rock. No, 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 no. Something else that you should know, guys, is that when you walk, you have to watch very closely in front of you directly where you step, but also take a glance uh, in front so that you can uh, calculate and plan your route. Because uh, if you just look down, you might miss a, a more easy way to pass. For example, here I want to continue in front, but I have this cut of the rocks in front of me that doesn't allow me. So I have to go up and down again in order to avoid it. I might try to go from inside, but not. Not for me. I prefer to walk more rather than risk. So yes, in general, you need uh, legs of steel to do things like that. Keyboard doesn't help, guys. It might train your fingers, but guys, <laughs> we all know that there are very few things that you can do with your fingers, right? Some are important for sure, but... Hoppa. Ah, look, look the cut. You see? <whistles> yes. Gods, enjoy the rocks. And we should actually enjoy ourselves. I mean, uh, it is a part of the beauty of uh, short jigging. Yes, this is a part of the beauty 
of short jigging. Can you actually imagine where I am at the moment? Pure nature, pure and friendly, rough nature, away from civilization, away from electronic devices. Yeah, actually, I hold one in my hand. But that's the beauty. That's the beauty. Hmm. How should we do that? Hmm. Okay. Sometimes a small jump is in the program. But it's better that most of the times to avoid it and make the turn. When you jump, you never know where you're going to land. Right? Look now this situation here. Deep Walker! Deep Walker! Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> wow, you spit it! We will move ahead. All this trouble for a baby bara, our dinner. Come on! But still, it's okay. Sometimes uh, you get nothing. You do all this and you get nothing. So, even a small bara. It's a blessing! Four hours of nothing! Yeah, a small barracuda, but... Come on, huh? Anyway... Part of the game. Let's hope that the last one and a half hour I might be able to save the game. I will move to much more shallow waters. I started fishing at uh, 35, uh, then I moved uh, 
uh, progressively to 20. I think I want to try also the 10 meters. However, my gear is uh, too strong for 10 meters. But I will try to adjust my technique for that fishing. Okay, see you in the shallower area. I can hear a baby goat. Where is it? Hella! Oh, look at this baby! Hella! 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 Eh? Look at this baby goat! Ha. Look how cute it is! Hello, hello! Look at this baby, it's very small! Hey! Come on, I won't hurt you! Hila, hila! 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 Hmm. No, I, probably there is not a single way to convince this baby to come. Its mother... Uh, it's Actually, she's not a very good mother, because uh, she saw me and she just uh, ran away. Like I was about to eat her. <laughs> <laughs> That's very probably. But... Uh, okay, baby, I have to go. Back to my things again. So the mother will come back to the baby. Nobody likes me. Not even the baby goats. And then my wife complains that my hands are uh, rough. <laughs> what do you expect? <laughs> Now, look at these two holes, very round holes here. Can you see them? <laughs> How is possible to be made by nature this? <laughs> and yet, it is. Uh, it's very common to find very round uh, holes, you see? It's, uh, nature is a sculpture machine now here if you can see there are marks you see these are marks of goats that step on the rocks and sometimes uh, hunters here say step wherever the goats are stepping but what I will tell you is that the weight of an average goat is 30 kilos and the weight of an average angler is 70 kilos mm. Mm. always pay attention to where you step